What's up guys, it's Rolls here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make great sounding vocals with just an iPhone and a computer program. So yeah, if you guys didn't know already, you can use your iPhone to make your voiceovers for your videos, and yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that, and also how to edit those voiceovers on your PC. This video is going to be split into two parts, so the first part will be covering on how to actually record with your iPhone and then the second part will be the editing of those actual recordings. So as always if you enjoy this video then a thumbs up is much appreciated and if you're keen to see more then hit that subscribe button. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is download the app called iTalk. It's by Griffin Technology. I'll put a link below or you can just search the name on um, the App Store. This is for iOS only guys so yeah. Search it on the App Store, it's about 5.6 megabytes. And yeah, this is the app that we'll be using to record our vocals. So yeah, once you've downloaded the app, you can go ahead and open it up. Yeah, it'll look like this. Um, you can go ahead and open it up and you will see that there's actually a record button on the top right. Go ahead and click that, it'll open up a new interface screen and you can select the quality. Here, choose best quality, and yeah, now you're all set to record. Um, once you click the record button, your voice will start being recorded. And yeah, that's how you guys can do your recordings for your voiceovers and your commentary. Also, pretty great quality, and the app is completely free. So yeah, another cool thing about this app is that you can upload your recordings to your Dropbox. Uh, actually, link your Dropbox account to the app. You can also upload your recordings to SoundCloud. And yeah, you can use the um, regular file transfer in iTunes to actually get your recordings out like I did with the sample. This is the sample that I'll be using um, to edit in the editing part of this video. So yeah, get the app guys and download it, record a sample and yeah. Some tips for when you record guys with your phone. Keep it about a foot away, you don't want it too close or too far, that doesn't pick up anything. Make sure there's no fans on, you don't want that um, distorting the noise. Also your PC, if it's the fans are going crazy because it's on performance or something, change the fan profile when you're recording or put it in quiet mode when you start recording. I also like to wait a couple of seconds before I actually start recording so that the software I used to edit my recording can pick up the background noise and then remove that. I'll explain more about that in the actual editing part. Another thing that you can do to increase the quality of your audio is put noise dampening foam on your walls or your recording room. That will um, remove some of the noise in your audio and make it sound a bit clearer. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the actual recording side, guys. It's pretty much just the app called iTalk. Choose best quality and then yeah, record something, guys, because we're about to get to the editing. So yeah, let's do that. Okay guys, so once you've completed recording your audio, you're going to want to get that file onto your PC somehow. So you can either upload it to your Dropbox and then download it, or you can just use iTunes and then transfer the file across. But yeah, just get, a, get that file onto your PC. And then yeah, um, you're going to need to download a program called Audacity in order to edit this file. So I'll link it in the description down below. It will take you to their homepage. Go to download, choose either Windows or Mac. I'm on Windows, so Windows. You can choose either the installer or the zip file. Choose whichever one you want. Um, download and then install. Audacity, I've already installed it, so I won't be downloading it and running through that again. But yeah, it's pretty quick and easy. Just follow the installer. And yeah, once you've got Audacity installed, you can go ahead and open up the program. Okay. Now you're going to want to drag and drop your file, your audio file, onto the program. Make a copy, it's a lot safer. And yeah, there we go. So this is the sample that I'll be using in this video today. You can go ahead and listen to it now. This is a sample. So it pretty much just says that this is a sample. Okay, so we can get started with the editing now. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is um, get rid of any background noise. So if you see, when I click play, this is a sample. You can see even in the parts where I'm not speaking, there is still some audio, there is still some noise. 
you can see the levels are moving. See, in the beginning and even at the end, there's still some background noise. So we want to get rid of that in order to make this track sounds a bit, sound a bit clearer. So let's go ahead and highlight this area where you can see the background noise. Go effect, noise reduction, get noise profile. And then you're going to want to do the same thing again, except this time click OK. And yeah, you're going to want to do this over the whole track. So yeah, it should have removed it from the beginning part. Yeah, pretty much. It's still there. I still hear it for a bit. So I'm actually going to do it again. Yeah, there we go. That's a bit better. Yeah, that's a bit better. So yeah, that's the noise reduction done. Next step is equalization. So yeah, you're going to want to select the whole track. And now equalization is for what the word says, equalizing the voice, the voice or the audio. So if you feel you're sounding a bit too deep, then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click treble boost and click OK. You can see it picks up the track a bit. It's widened my peaks, it's um, raised it because of the higher frequency now. And yeah, treble boost to make you sound a bit higher, a bit more, um, less deep, you know, a bit more, Feminine, you could say almost, but yeah, go ahead and do that and then click equalization again. And now we're gonna do a bass boost. So I like to preview this because sometimes that's too much bass. So yeah, go ahead and click preview. This is a sample. If it sounds too bassy, you can drop the drop this point to six or three. This is a sample. Uh, I think I'm going to pick it up a bit. Um, yeah, you can also make your own points on the graph. So you can click, drag, and drop. You can play around with your mids, your lows, your highs. Um, obviously, the higher frequencies, you know, the higher sounds, um, higher pitch, lower frequencies, the deeper, lower sounding sounds, the bass, you know, your mids. If you want to pick up your treble, you can still pick it up, increase the point, go preview. This is a sample. You can see the S is sounding a bit sharper now. Um, I don't like that, so I'm just gonna keep this at zero uh, with the bass boost over there. And okay, cool. So that's my equalization done. Okay, so after equalization, we want to compress it. So select the whole track again, click compressor. Now I like to keep this between minus 15 and minus 20. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set this at minus 15 now. Oh, actually. Yeah, I'll keep this at minus 15. Cool, you can see it compressed it a little bit. Okay, so after we've done compression, we want to limit the track. And the reason why we want to limit it is so that it can be even. There might be points where, say for example here, where this part I've selected is a bit higher than the other points where I'm speaking. You can see the peak, it's quite a bit higher. So I'd like to even that out. Um, to get it to look a bit more constant. So yeah, that's why we limit. So yeah, select the whole track, click effect, go ahead and click limiter, choose hard limit, yeah, and then yeah, set this to minus 10, okay. And there we go, you can see it made it a bit smaller, reduced it a bit in order to keep it in line with the other peaks. So yeah, that's a bit more even. So cool, after limiter, we want to normalize the track and then that's it, we're about done. So select the whole track, effect, normalize, normalize to minus one and click OK. And then boom, you can see it added quite a bit of volume because I was speaking softly, I guess, in that recording. So yeah, if you see, it's limited in now to minus one. So that means when I'm playing this, it shouldn't go past minus one. This is a sample. This is a sample. Yeah, anyway, it sounds a lot clearer, I think. This is a sample. Got a lot more volume to it. I think I heard some background noise here, though. Did you see there? You could see some. So over here, in this case, if you do see some background noise, just go ahead and click Effect, Noise Reduction, Get Noise Profile, Effect, Noise Reduction. OK. OK, you see, it's still there. So I'm actually going to repeat it over this area only to just remove it off here. 
Okay, and there we go, now it's done. Okay, you can see now this is completely removed. Okay, so yeah guys, that's the that's the video, hey? This how-to video, how to make your audio sound a little bit better using Audacity and how to record your audio using just an iPhone. I think the app iTalk is a great app, you should definitely use it. If you do not have a mic to record your audio, um, it helps a lot. Great for commentaries, voiceovers, whatever you need. And yeah, Audacity, great program. It's free. Link in the description, download it, follow the steps, and yeah, play around with the EQ. Check the noise reduction throughout the track, like I said. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, then a thumbs up is always appreciated. And if you're keen to see more, then hit that subscribe button. Stay slaying, and I'll check you guys in the next one.